7.40 on Wednesday morning. Hello there. Greg James with you till 10.30. Almost forgot. And you seem very keen to help me out with my Ed Sheeran situation. Matt said he's up for it. And also this person says, Hi Greg, me and my son George are off to see Ed Sheeran tomorrow. He's a massive fan of yours. We'd love to help. You don't even know what I'm going to ask you. You're very willing. Could be... I, I can't ask you to, to assassinate him. I'm not going to, obviously. He's a national treasure. A global treasure, actually. What I want to do is get to the bottom of a video I saw on... TikTok yesterday and it comes from a person called Alice Thomas 79 if you're interested and the the caption is Ed Sheeran being wheeled past 60,000 fans in a box okay let's just stop the music there what does this mean is this real so the Ed Sheeran show the stadium show currently is in the round so, if it's at a stadium, it's usually in the middle of the football pitch. He has to get to the football pitch to start the show and sort of appear on that stage. But how does he get there? He doesn't walk through the crowd. He, people think he gets pushed through the crowd in a box on wheels. Okay? A flight case. He's in that one! Woo! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! So, that's Alice pointing at a box on wheels and thinking that Ed Sheeran's in it and waving at it and going, Hi, Ed! He's in that one! Woo! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! Now, we've heard rumours that this happens at other shows before, but it's never really been confirmed. Maybe the Taylor Swift one was confirmed a few years ago, where she was smuggled in or out of a venue or to an airport or something in a box to avoid getting mobbed by fans. But is Ed do- Ed is doing a stadium tour which has got like a hundred dates. So is this is Ed Sheeran, one of our most celebrated pop stars, clambering into a box every night on tour before playing to ninety thousand people? It feels a little undignified. So I'm, I'm appealing for information, and also I'm going to ask him the questions directly. But if you're going, I don't know if we'll get an answer from him because he doesn't have a phone. I've got a plan, I'll tell you about that in a second. But if you're going to these shows, just keep, stay vigilant, okay? When you see the roadies pushing boxes last minute towards the stage, that could be Ed Sheeran in there. I have so many questions. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna write an email. What I've done is I have found an email address that we used when we, (laughs) when we FaceTimed Ed on the show a little while ago. Is that, is that a, Misuse of someone's private data. Is it a GDPR issue? Probably yes. At this stage, do I care? Not not yet. So I'm going to email him some questions. And my questions will be as follows. One, are you in the box? Two, if so, is it lonely in there? Three, do you have air holes? Four, do you have sweets for the journey? Five, is the guitar with you? Six, can you hear all the people saying hi to you? Seven, are you laying down or crouching? And finally, is it dark or is there a vanity light built in? Any more questions, please, for Ed? I'll email off in about five minutes or so and try and get an answer by the end of the show. Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! You all right? BBC Radio 1 My bad habits lead to you <laughs> Luke says... <laughs> Luca says, really, Greg, it's a, it's a real-life carrot in the box. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that game yesterday, weren't we? Very good, Luke. Thank you. Extra question for Ed, who's in the box pre-show. Um, a lot of people asking if he farts in there or has done because of the nerves. Yeah, sure, sort of hotboxing himself. Does he have to do a little stretch after he comes out of there? You know, like when you get off the sofa, do a little... Hello, Wembley. Chris says, please can you ask Ed if there's a reserve box if the main box breaks down, a bit like Prue Leith at the Jubilee Parade. <laughs> sure. Has he got his phone with him? Hmm. Is there security in the box, says Sheldon. I doubt it. I mean, the security around the box. But who knows? We'll find out. There's a lot of reports of other pop stars doing this, so it wouldn't be unusual 
Apparently Adele was put in a box and then taken to her stage. Prince was put in a box and taken to the stage at the O2, obviously a few years ago. I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm going to send the email off now and, well, maybe get something back between now and 10.30. One. Scott's in Burton and says, I'm there tomorrow, Ed Sheeran. I'll make it my mission to uncover the truth. I got you. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate that. Ricky the Chippy says, I'm a carpenter. And I feel like it's something that I could help build if pop stars need sort of uh, ones, like bespoke ones. You can, <laughs> excuse, Ricky's calling them pre-coffins. <laughs> Some, just make an Ed Sheeran shaped box is what you're saying, yeah. Nice, nice and smug. Although you would see a big wooden Ed Sheeran being wheeled to the stage. That's the only problem, isn't it? And Sam's in um, in Urchester and says, I'll, I'll, I'm off to Wembley as well tonight. I'll take my binoculars for you. So you're being very helpful. This is good. BBC, BBC Radio. Radio. Earlier today, I sent an email to Ed Sheeran with some questions that I had for him and some questions that you had for him because I saw a TikTok from Alice Thomas from Ed Sheeran's UK tour, which is currently on. He's doing Wembley Stadium tonight, I believe. It's a video of what Alice thinks to be him being wheeled past her in a box in front of her and 60,000 other fans in order for him to get to the stage without everyone realising that, oh, Ed Sheeran's going to the stage! Because the stage is in the middle of the football pitch, essentially. So he can't just walk out because everyone goes, oh, there he is. Because Ed Sheeran is one of the people, he looks so much like Ed Sheeran in real life. It's, no one else looks like him. No one's going, is that Ed Sheeran? Because obviously, it is Ed Sheeran. So they put him in a little box. He's in that one. And that's Alice waving and saying hi, Ed, to a box on wheels. That's her theory. I wanted to find out if this was true, so I sent him a list of questions today. My first question was, well, are you in the box? If so, are you lonely? Are there air holes? Do you have sweets? Is the guitar with you? Can you hear people saying hi to you? You added a couple of questions in. Uh, one of them was, do you have you ever farted in there because of nerves? Someone else asked, Ed, do you also get taken back off the stage in the box? Are you laying down or crouching? <sighs> I've emailed him and the news as of, and I've been refreshing my inbox way too often. Just do one last refresh. The news as of 9.22, nothing. I feel like he'd be up as well early because, you know, two young kids. Hmm. For me, it feels like an admission of guilt. For me, just I'm just saying. And of course, I'll keep you posted. Still got an hour left of the show. Let's get into this Ed Sheeran situation. Yesterday on the show, I talked to you about this TikTok that I saw from Alice Thomas. It's a video from when she was watching Ed do one of his many, many stadium tour dates. And she reckons that they wheel him in a box to the stage through the crowd so no one sees him. And he can appear on the stage and everyone's like, oh, wow, what are the chances? Ed Sheeran's here. Wow. This is Alice rumbling what she thinks is this whole, this whole conspiracy. He's in that one. Woo! Hi, Ed. So it's, it's two very busy-looking roadies pretending like they're, oh, yeah, just got to push some lights towards the stage. Yeah, five minutes we were going on. Yeah, just got to push some, yeah, it's just some equipment. Yeah, it's just, it's just equipment. Yeah, equipment with red hair. <laughs> yeah, equipment with red hair and holding a guitar. <laughs> right, so we're, 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 we were wise to this. And yesterday I said, look, if you're going to see Ed Sheeran, because he was doing Wembley, Re uh, Wembley Stadium last night, just keep an eye out. Just be vigilant, okay? And Matt Bown, great name, Matt Bown took it seriously, he emailed me last night, and he attached a video as well, because Matt means business, and this was him while watching the, 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 the moments before the gig was about to start. He was watching closely. Two bars. Look, one minute's 30 left, and they bring him 
fucking empty box. Right, so he said, well, right, it's one minute 30 left before the show starts and they're bringing back an empty box. So the box has already gone down the aisle, deposited Ed Sheeran, another box is coming back. Empty box. Look, one minute 30 left and they're bringing back an empty box. Why? Why? It's got ketchup in it. <laughs> we are no fools. Right, exactly. Shout out to the person who says, has it got ketchup in it? On the side. Now, he's right. We are no fools. We are no fools. And I sent the email yesterday to Ed Sheeran. It was the email address that was knocking around. Uh, probably shouldn't have had access to it, but it, it did work and we did get a reply yesterday. And I'm amazed we got a reply just after the show finished yesterday. So my, my questions were as follows. Are you lonely in there? Ed has replied. It's welcomed peace and quiet. Are there air holes? He replied with, of course. I said, do you have sweets for the journey? He replied with, alas, no. Next question, is the guitar with you? He replied with, no, just the sports shirt I wear later in the show. Next question, can you hear all the people saying hi to you? He replied with, <laughs> I can. Is it that one? Woo! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! Hi, Ed! <laughs> It's quite, a, it's quite a tragic scene, really, isn't it? That you can hear all that, and he's just there going, Oh, God. Oh, it's not quite as good a disguise as I thought. Next question. Are you laying down? Are you crouching? He said, I'm sitting down. And I said, is it dark in there, or is there a vanity light built in? And he said, there is actually a vanity light in there, because it gets a bit sick-making when it's all dark and I'm being bumped around. There you go. So, we got an answer. He is in the box. So when you're going to see him again and you see the little box being wheeled to the stage minutes before, it's not innocuous. It's got Ed Sheeran within it. Case closed. Thanks for your assistance. Bo box closed. Should have said that. Quarter to eight now. Greg, I still have questions. So many questions about Ed in a box. Well, Stace, send them over and I'll send back another email. Any, any supplementary questions, we'll keep the email thread going. Why not? Luke says, good info on the box. Me and my girlfriend are seeing him tomorrow, so we'll take some Haribo to push through the air holes for him. <laughs> he might need the sugar rush before he goes on. It's great, it's great information that he can obviously hear what's going on. So if you see the box go past you, then just shout. We know you're in there. Ed, we know you're in there. Oh, I wonder who could be in there. Shout those sorts of things at him. Jess says, I don't understand why he's in a box. Why isn't he backstage? Have I missed something? It's a very good question. It's because the show he's doing in the round, so he has to make it to the centre, essentially the centre circle of the football pitch. So that's why he has to, has to sneak there on, on wheels. But we've blown the cover now, so we've essentially ruined the magic. And uh, you're welcome. Anyway, Ricky, Mama and Charlie, I wanted to get you in a little early today because we have breaking Ed Sheeran news. What? Nice, right. nice, so nice. So you know there's this whole situation with the TikTok that went viral of, um, of someone watching Ed's show thinking, hang on a minute, I think he's in that flight case on wheels. He's in that box on wheels being pushed to this stage because <laughs> the stage is in the round, right, when he's doing a stadium show. Yeah. Right in the middle, so basically the centre circle of the football pitch. So he has to try and get there without the crowd realising. So it's yeah. like, surprise! Yeah, of I'm course. Here. So they put him in a box on wheels. Well, Prince used to do that because I remember when he used to do shows at the O2 in London and again, the stage is in the centre. So to hide from everyone, he would go in a flight box and then kind of like be risen <laughs> from the stage in the centre. Very so, clever. Yeah, so a lot of musicians, I'm guessing, must do it. But now... We've, we've blown his cover. Well, the TikTok did. Um, I emailed yesterday to get a few questions, a few answers from him, because we had a load of questions about it. And one of the questions was, are you lonely? He said, actually, it's, it's welcomed peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, we said, do you have any sweets in there? He said, no sweets, sadly. But then we, we updated it with slightly more wacky questions today, uh, including the people in Cardiff who said, can you ask him if he heard us shouting, knock twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> He's since replied saying he didn't hear them. Oh, so, no. No. 
Next question was, did Sam Smith have their own box when they came out as a guest? Good question. And Ed said yes. No way. They were wearing platform heels as well. So in total, six foot seven. Brilliant. Oh, Crouch. Oh, brilliant. Crouch down in a box. This is amazing. Next question. Were there any plans, Ed, to incorporate this into a game where you have two decoy boxes <laughs> and, the, and the crowd has to guess which one you're in? If they guess incorrectly, there's no show. He said, didn't think of the game, but we were going to have a few boxes just for lols. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Keep everyone but, guessing. But now that we know, what's he going to do now? How's he going to get to the middle of the stage now? Well, someone suggested that they, he should be carried out on poles like a pharaoh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. A really nice they idea. They should change each show, like something imaginative for like... Each show. Next one. Have you ever hotboxed yourself with a nervous fart? <laughs> <laughs> he must have. He must have. He said no. <sighs> but I do love to fart on stage. <laughs> By the way, this is brilliant. real. This is a real, this is real email from, from him. He said, no, I, I um, uh, especially through a ballad. Through <laughs> a ballad. Wow. He goes on. I look at the crowd listening intently and I think, you don't know what's coming out of me. <laughs> and the final question was, which, which stadium has been the bumpiest or has the longest journey to the stage? And he said, Belfast. A proper bumpsville. It took about five minutes. It's in a big field and not a stadium. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I think That's we should great. maybe play. Should we play one of Ed's ballads? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Let's do it. So we can imagine. Just try to imagine the moments where he's. What should we play? Should we go photograph or perfect? Per perfect. The, what's the yeah. one? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. 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 All right. So we'll play this. This might ruin the wedding song for a lot of people. Because this is a lot of people's song. Isn't I yeah. think it makes it better. Or, yeah, they just do what Ed does when they're walking down the aisle and just um, let rip. Quite Trumpingtons. Hard to fart and sing, though. Mm. No. I guess during the, during the guitar bit. So you can work out, when you're seeing Ed tonight at Wembley Stadium, you'll be working out when he's doing little fart breaks. Because <laughs> it's got to be during like, the, loudy, the more louder bits. Yeah, surely, what so. a talented man. Yeah. Let's listen to this song in a whole new way. <laughs> <laughs> I found a love. There, that would be it. For me. 